Hey, how's everybody doing? I just wanted to come on and do a quick tour of our room um, for you guys that kind of want to know what we got in these cages. I know a lot of people are asking, so these are all our male chameleons all the way down at the end. Um, underneath is our milk snakes and then our uromastics on the bottom right here. So we'll walk through here. I'll come in and open a cage or two so you can see a chameleon here. Um, I know it's kind of hard. This is one of our Chameleons that we bred here, uh, one of our holdbacks. This is from Flash. He's going to stay here and be our next breeder. Um, we got a couple more ambelobies there. We have two nosy bays at the end. And then right through here is our ambelobies. Um, this one's starting to shed over there. There's Aslan. We'll open this one up so you can see this cute little boy here. This is a great chameleon. We love this guy. Oh, you can open your mouth for the camera. Okay. Well, that was a nice yawn. But he's super sweet. You can see he'll just come right out. He loves coming out. He loves like being out here and terrorizing. But I'm not going to let him do that right now because we're going to show you the rest of the room. So you got to go back in, buddy, just for now. So anyways, those are the males. Um, and then we still have more males. Um, these are our blue ambanjas. So we have one, two, three, and four right now. I will show you Dubois here. So this is Dubois. Absolutely beautiful chameleon. Obviously none of these chameleons are fired up right now. Um, so underneath we have two beautiful ball pythons. Um, under there we have a super banana enchi, het orange dream. And then on this side we have a pastel leopard enchi EMG fader. Obviously they're both hiding. We have our two carpet cams. We only have a pair, uh, one breeding pair now. Um, we used to have a bunch. I wish I kept a few back, but I didn't. That was my 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 bad. But uh, we are going to start breeding them again. I do have some eggs. Um, these two right here on each side, um, these are some of the female blue ambanges that we're holding back. The ones where you see the green stickers, those are sold. That's a beautiful uh, male ambanja going out. These are some of the baby snakes up here. I don't have very many left, guys. I've been selling them. I think we got four. Um, so if anybody's interested, check out framescams.com. They're half off, by the way. Um, this is our holding area. This is where we usually hold the chameleons that are... We did get a lot of chameleons out this week. Um, so that was nice, finally, with the weather broke and we were able to get some out. These are some of the other females right now that we're holding back um, to decide if we want to keep them, breed them. Um, but I always keep extras back just in case I need more. Um, again, these are all females and holdbacks. These are all our babies, guys. These are where all the babies that we have, we raise up. Don't forget, we individually raise all our chameleons here at Fram's Cams. They're all labeled. They're all doing great. The colors are coming in beautiful in these chameleons. So these are all individually raised. It makes a huge difference when you are breeding. Trust me, don't get a chameleon from someone that is raising them in bins or in cages together. You will regret it. Um, they won't be as healthy. They won't have everything they've needed in life. They're always comp uh, competing for food, which they should not be. More babies over here, obviously. These are our smaller ones that we're raising up. Um, straight ahead, um, our Sambavas are on each side of this big cage in the middle. These are dragon strand cages, by the way. Um, very happy with these. Um, great quality cages. You can check out Dragon Strand. That's Bill Strand's company. Um, so the two... Uh, Sam Baba's on each side, and in the middle is our Parsons, which right now, she's right up there if you see her. She's right there in the back. Um, underneath are two albino Nelsons milk snakes that are so cool looking. I can't wait to get these raised up. So they're living the life of luxury right now in those two big enclosures. Um, this is our sink. This is where we clean everything. We put a TV in here just in case we want to listen to something while we're working. Um, Helmet chameleon in that cage, our Pac-Man frog. I do have baby helmet chameleons if anybody's interested. And I also have Jacksons and I'll show you where those are in a second. This is our beautiful Mellers Renning uh, for you guys that have been following us for a while. This is a beautiful Dale's cage. Um, it's a condo. It's great if you want to check them out. Honestly, they're awesome cages as well. The rest of these cages um, come from China Direct. I have them made for our size. Um, yeah, these are our females, guys. These is where all the breeding, um, actually the breeding usually happens in the male cage, but these are where the females stay. Um, 
So anyways, these are our females. More females. Um, these are the ones in the middle that we hold back to decide if we're going to keep them or sell them. Those two nosy bays will be staying here for sure. We already decided we're going to keep them. They're unrelated. Um, so we're holding back those females right now. Um, going back out this way. Um, so anyways, if you guys, this room's a little over a thousand square feet total. Um, and then I have another thousand square feet on the other side here. Um, these are the Jacksons guys. So if anybody's looking for a cute Jackson, we have them. Again, we always raise our chameleons individually. We never put them together. They stress out. They don't eat as well. They're competing and I don't like chameleons competing. This is another area where we hold back some of the bigger ones that you guys. Um, so this is a beautiful Ambilobi that we're holding back. This is an absolutely gorgeous Sam Baba. He's on the website, by the way, if anybody is interested. He is J1, absolutely gorgeous. He is up for sale. And then again, this is just a holding area. We have carts. This is all the stuff we need. This is the back room. This is where we used to do all the labels and everything. Our, our little office was right there on that desk, but now we just use this as a holding area. We have two um, electric panels. We have to, to run this place. We put the refrigerator in here because we need a refrigerator. We have an incubator. Don't use it that often. More boxes, more containers. This is like the overflow. Um, going back into this room, this is the bug room. This is where we keep all our bugs. It is climate controlled. We keep it at about 81 to 85. Sometimes we keep it a little bit warmer. These are our dubia roach colonies right here. They're doing really good. All our silkworms. I mean, we have silkworms, guys. So if you need silkworms, check out framscams.com. We got plenty of them. All the big ones are in the other room. Um, this is where I keep my crickets. Um, so we keep this door closed to keep the heat in there. Going back into this room now. This is a room I said I would never move into, but we did. Um, so this is our shipping area. This is where we do all the shipping for silkworms, chameleons. We went out and bought a bunch of tables. Um, and this room is now very useful because on a Sunday, there's usually five of us down here. We got the football games on. And we're just counting silkworms all day. So I've been making boxes trying to keep up. Um, 83 boxes went out this week. Um, and we already have 72 sold for next week already. So um, a lot of silkworms. This is our Exantic Crested Gecko. Um, absolutely gorgeous. We'll be breeding them, him, I should say, with some lily whites. So this cage is actually empty right now. These are some lily whites in here, females. We got gargoyles. Um, the fish tank that we just put down here for us. We have some beautiful turtles and some um, African cichlids in there. The tank is doing awesome, by the way. Um, and then this is, like I said, the shipping area. And then in here, this is where Carolyn's office is. Um, a lot of people don't understand, but this is a big part of the job, is making labels, taxes, keeping records, um, getting a hold of you guys and make sure we have the right address, make sure if we're sending it to your house or the hub. So we put a lychee in here. Carolyn's got a cool little baby lychee right here for now. Obviously when he gets bigger, he's going to be going in one of those big enclosures. Um, this is another beautiful terrarium we had built. Look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so cool. Um, I built this one over here. Obviously it doesn't look as good as that one, but this is where our leaf tail geckos are. And then it's the rest of office supplies. Um, but that's our room. That's how we do things here at Fram's Cams. Uh, we don't cut corners, guys. If you want the best quality panther, chameleon, uh, geckos, go check out our website, guys. We guarantee everything for 30 days. Live arrival guarantee. Plus, you get support for us for life. So check out framscams.com, and we'll talk to you guys soon.